Good day everyone, welcome to my channel. Today I will be challenging myself to place this Afik Liquid Freezer 2, the 420 ARGB variant, into this Lian Li Lian Ku 3 case. In the past, I've actually done a very in depth detailed review on this case itself. If you guys are curious on how this case works and how modular it is, click on the top right hand corner where I leave the URL. Having this case, thanks to Lenny to have provided this case for me, it does allow you to mount a 420 radiator. But the question is, does it allow you to mount an AIO instead of just radiator? For custom water looping, not a problem, but for in the market like Arthic, like uh, Crosshair and NZXT, will they be allowed to mount a 420 AIO? So far in the market, there are only two that I know of, which is Arthic, and the other one is, uh, I believe is Crosshair. I've actually approached all these vendors and the only person that respond to me is Arthic. And from the bottom of my heart, thank you very much to came to my aid, where Arthic has supplied not only this 420 AIO, in fact, they do provide additional thermal paste for me. I'm so grateful to you that I can share this with my viewers. Without further ado, let's begin. I will still start off with the uh, build itself. I will not go into details, but these are all time lapse. Then right after that, I will share with you my thoughts and the experience on mounting this AIO in this Lianku tree and some tips and tricks. Let's begin. <laughs>
Hope you have enjoyed what I've shared with you as I piece up all the uh, PC components in this Lianco 3 case. I'd like to thank Lian Li, especially the designers. You have done a very good job on this case itself. The experience on building in this case was fantastic. All the gaps and the space is very roomy. And thanks to Arthic, as I took up the challenge, will this case be able to cater for a 420 liquid AIO? And Arthic have came to my aid. They have provided me this 420 liquid freezer too to present this to you guys. If you have noticed, I bid farewell to my O11D Mini. There is a video on it. You can click on the top right hand corner and it will show you the theme that you see here right, is off from there. I've transferred it to this case itself. Besides this, right, in this case, I've did a lot of detailing, mainly on the white lines, on the fans and on the GPU itself. I made use of vehicle decoration known as the line decal and this are very very strong to stick on instead of using a marker pen and I will right now go through with you on all the gaps that why I say Lenny designer have done a great job looking at the orientation of this picture on my top left hand corner this is the rear fence and at the middle section in fact this is the top whereby I mount the uh, Arctic liquid freezer 2 420 AIO you can see the radiator and the fence that are mounted. The uh, motherboard I'm using is the ASRock X570 Tai Chi and the RAMs I'm using a 32 gig kit coming from Crossair Dominator and these are high profile RAMs. I'm going to talk about the clearance from the motherboard to the tip of the um, radiator over here. As you can see if you're mounting a 280 or 420 liquid AIO there is enough clearance of 40 millimeter the height from your motherboard and to the radiator. If you're mounting a 240 or a 360 liquid AIO, the clearance will be 60 millimeter. Now, you might worry that at the back, will there be enough space? Will it hit your radiator? If your motherboard from the bottom below the standoff, all the way to the top, it's within the 45 millimeter height, you shouldn't have a problem. For my Motherboard itself, right, the height is in fact 38 millimeter, so it fits in nicely where it has more gaps over here. Speaking about RAMs, as you can see here, you might wonder that will it hit the radiator? Answer is no. My dominator RAMs are in fact very high profile. In fact, it went past almost past the uh, fence over here, and the gap over here is 0 0.5 millimeter. But do take note that if you are using high profile RAMs, make sure that it's straight and it's not slanting as some of the uh, rams like the uh, team group elite they have rams that flare out at the side so you will not be able to use those rams if you want to use high profile make sure that the high profile rams are straight there are some other points that you need to take note when you're mounting this arctic liquid freezer to the 420 variant first off make sure you dismantle all the fans before you place the radiator and the screw it at the top reason being right there'll be more clearance and at this corner right if you have the fans on it will hit the bar over here so make sure you take out all the fans and you mount it and do it slanting do not do it straight so that you have more space to feed it around and you will not scratch the radiator. Next thing to take note, in most Arctic Liquid Freezer 2 series, all the uh, radiator hose is in fact 450 mm in length. So do not place the uh, hose at the back where you can't fit the uh, rear fans. Make sure it's at the front and the length will be just nice to your processor. And at the rear, right, there are some miscalculations that I've done Reason being right, the thickness of this radiator plus the fans itself, not able for me to mount the fan using screws. So I will have to make use of this fan studs. They are made of rubber, elastic, so that in order to fit the last radiator fan, right, I got to pull this down. See? Anyway, mounting with this rubber studs right is good, whereby it stops the uh, vibration and to create noise and this will not go anywhere see it's tightly fit so do take note on this this is my miscalculation but if you want to go without a fan you can or you can place a 15 millimeter thick fan it will not obstruct if you intend to put a 25 millimeter thick right like what i'm doing right now you will need to purchase this these are the uh, rubber studs for fan mounts 
Just to show you the other side of the uh, panel itself, as you can see, this is where the cable management is. I have no problem doing cable management because normally I do all the uh, cable management properly. I'm a very neat person. So if you are the type whereby you just push all the cables in right, well, you might have problem closing these panels. So take note on this. And at the bottom itself, right, as you can see, I know it's not very tidy, but I let the cable rest beneath. That's the reason why I take out all the uh, hard disk cage and all the additional hard disk um, caddy over here and at the bottom. And I've even removed this piece. Now, why do I remove this piece? Is, as you know, there are slots over here and you know that the air is pulling from the sides. So dust might collect underneath here when it's placing on the uh, case bottom. So that's the reason why I took this out too. One last point you need to take note. If you are mounting your GPU in a vertical fashion instead of horizontal, take note on the uh, radiator hose. If you do not lift the hose up right, it will touch your GPU and causes the GPU to sag. So make sure you hang it up. How do I actually hold this position is by using this stainless steel soft wire. I purchased this at the uh, fishing shop or the hobby shop. It's pretty cheap. And if you missed out how I do the uh, holding on this tubes itself, right? Rewind my video. And there is this portion whereby I show you how I did this. Next thing I'd like to share with you, in fact, is this remote control that is in my hand here. I've placed a small PCIe card right at the last slot of my motherboard and what this does. Instead of pressing the power button on my case itself, I can make use of this remote. So as and when I like it, I'll just press it. See, you just turn on. And you might be asking, how am I going to control the ARGB um, lightings on the fans itself? Well, I make use of the uh, case button, as you can see. So you can cycle all the colors as you want. Or if you want to um, press for the uh, effects, see, I can do this. Cycle through all the patterns. There you have it. I hope this video will help those who decided to get this case and to purchase a 420 AIO. I can't speak for any brands of AIO, only on Arthic itself because I've tried on Arthic. And thanks again, Arthic, for providing this uh, 420 liquid freezer too. And for those of you who are actually new in my channel, if you like my content, do remember to subscribe and to click on the notification bell button. Till then, take care. Goodbye. See ya.